Hey, what's up guys? David here from Dignited. Today, I want to show you how to customize the personal shortcut buttons on the Roku Voice Remote Pro. Alright, let's get into it. So almost every Roku remote comes with some preset channel buttons that act as shortcuts to some of the popular streaming services such as Netflix, Disney+, Apple TV+, Paramount, Hulu, Sling TV, and so forth. Roku actually gets paid from these companies to occupy that little real estate on their remote. That is why you can't change these buttons unless you own the Roku Voice Remote Pro. This remote comes with some incredible features you won't find in the base model, that is the Roku Simple Remote and the Roku Voice Remote. For instance, you get to have a rechargeable battery and two custom personal shortcut buttons that you can customize to your liking. All right, now these personal shortcut buttons are labeled one and two, with these buttons, you can set a custom channel that you can launch without going through the upgrade on the home screen. You can set it to open the Roku channel, for example, start the live TV guide, start the sleep timer, turn on closed captioning. All right, so with me here, I have my Roku Voice Remote Pro. And as you can see, I have these two personal shortcut buttons, that is one and two right here. And if you want to assign a shortcut one of the buttons, you're going to press and hold one of the shortcut buttons like I'm doing with shortcut button two here. And then here you can select any of the options to set it to shortcut button two. Uh, you can select a channel, the Roku channel, live TV guide, sleep timer, closed captioning and voice command. All right. So I'm just going to select the Roku channel right here. Okay. So just press OK here. And now the Roku channel is set as shortcut 2. Now after that, press button 2 to launch the Roku channel. All right. Then if you want to assign shortcut button 1, gain long press or press and hold button 1 here. All right, you should uh, see this pop up here and then you can choose any of these choices here that you want to assign to shortcut button one. So I'm going to select live TV guide for shortcut one. And after that, you simply press one to launch the live TV guide, right? It's really cool. Right, and then if you want to set one of the channels that are probably not on the preset buttons like Netflix or Disney Plus, again, simply come to home here and then highlight the channel that you want to set as a shortcut. So for my case, I'm going to highlight Pluto TV right here. All right, I'm going to press and hold button two here. All right, and then it's going to say select an option below for shortcut two. And in this case, it has pre-selected Pluto TV. And all you have to do now is to simply press OK. Right now, Pluto TV is now set as shortcut two. Now to launch Pluto TV, all I have to do is now to press that button that I set, which is two. And right there, that is how the channel gets triggered. Awesome. And then lastly, I just want to show you how you can also assign a voice command to one of these personal shortcut buttons, right? So the easiest way I've found to do this is you simply issue the voice command and you can do that by pressing the mic button here on your remote, right? And then you can issue a voice command, okay? For instance, I'm going to say play 80s music. Okay, so that is going to launch 80s music on Spotify because that's what I have installed. And then you're going to go back now. Again, long press shortcut button that you want to assign that command. In this case, I'm going to press 2 again. And here you're going to choose last voice command. So next time, I'm just going to press 1 for the voice command that I issued earlier. It's really, really cool. Yeah, and it plays my music on Spotify. All right, guys, that sums up our video on how you can set up personal shortcut buttons and customize them to different things that you want on your Roku TV. 
if you found value in this video go ahead and give us a like subscribe to the channel and ring the bell icon so you don't miss out on future videos otherwise i'll see you guys in the next one